As awesome as I feel like Beatmaker 3 is, I can admit that there are other iPadOS DAWs out there that do some things better. And that might lead me to start a track in Beatmaker 3 and then try to move things over to something like Cubasis 3. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that. Welcome back creatives, I'm Jarrell, your music technologist, and we're gonna jump right into this tutorial. So let me grab my headphones. All right, so I've got Beatmaker 3 open. Let's go ahead and listen to this track I made, giving you guys the sneak peek. So as you can see, I've got mostly audio tracks in here because I froze a good amount of the tracks that I made, just put them into audio tracks. Um, but I do have a couple instruments. And so we're gonna look at how do I get these audio files, the individual tracks into another DAW, as well as these MIDI tracks. So there's a couple ways to do this. Let's start with the audio tracks. So what I can do is go up to the top left menu here, hit export. We're gonna go with audio export. So the first way to do this is to just export everything as individual audio tracks and drag it in. So in order to do that, um, we're gonna make sure we click song here. We want the full duration. The song's 28 bars long. Um, we want it to start on bar one, that's correct. Now we're gonna switch over here to tracks, okay? And then we've got our WAV file set. 24 bits is fine for, um, the export quality and then we have individual tracks here so these are my audio tracks right here and these ones are my banks they have the MIDI data but we just want to freeze them as audio tracks and export them so we're just going to click all and to be honest we can deselect these uh, aux channels and the main out so now we're going to get our individual tracks all you got to do is hit start export and they are now exporting So everything we just exported is going to be in the exports folder in the file system. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get to that. So we're going to open up file folder. We're going to hit Beatmaker 3. This is my root storage on my iPad. Hit Beatmaker 3. Go to exports. The track we just exported is called 80. So I'm going to hit that. And the most recent one says today. I'm going to go ahead and hit that one. And here are all of our audio tracks. They're all here and they're listed by what they were titled in the session. It's really that simple for exporting your files as audio files. I can literally just drag these stems into whatever DAW I want to use. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So we're gonna go ahead and bring all these files into Cubasis 3. If you wanna skip ahead to the part in this video where I talk about exporting MIDI and dragging that into another DAW, I'm gonna leave a timestamp right here and you can go to that part of the video. Otherwise, let's continue on. So the best way I've found to do this is to go ahead and open a second files window. And here's my Cubasis 3 folder. Go ahead and tap that. And then we want to put everything into the file system. So that's gonna be under audio folder and we'll go to my samples. Um, obviously you can see I've done this a couple times, but we'll create a new folder and we'll call it 80s track stems. Bada bing, we got a folder. Okay, I'm gonna select all of these files. I'm gonna go ahead and hit more. I'm gonna hit copy and we will press this folder and we will paste it here. Now everything is in Cubasis. Let's go ahead and open up the app and we'll bring those files in. So let's open up Cubasis. So real quick as Cubasis 3 is loading up, if you're getting value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're looking to see more content like this, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. And let's get back to the video. So we're gonna go to media, we're gonna click new project. We're gonna call this, call it 80s from BM3, 
okay, we've got a fresh project here and we're gonna go ahead and bring these files in. So if we go to, we're in the media folder already, we'll hit audio, because remember we put everything into the audio folder. We will go to my samples and we've got 80s track stems current. That's the folder we had. All of our files are here. So what we're gonna do is hit add and we're gonna add some audio tracks. We've got nine audio tracks. So let's add nine audio tracks. Six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And we will just drag these into their respective places. All right, now that we've done that, we can just exit out of this audio box and we can get a quick listen to our track. All right, there we go. As you'll notice, it did preserve the levels that I had originally put in for all of this stuff. So everything's already mixed the way I had it mixed in BM3. The next way I'm gonna show you how to do this is, say I had those MIDI tracks in Beatmaker 3 that I wanted to preserve as MIDI and have them as MIDI instruments in my new Cubasis project. There's a way to do that. It takes a little bit more time, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we're gonna go back to Beatmaker 3. And we're gonna go back to track I had open. So this is gonna work best for tracks that have melodies or harmonies and things like that. I wouldn't recommend doing a MIDI export for drums unless you have your presets perfectly mapped in your other DAW because if you don't, it's going to take you forever to map your drums in the new program with the MIDI data that you have. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just gonna do a couple of instruments that have chords. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up here and we will solo this top instrument. Cool, we wanna move those chords over as MIDI. And then we'll also do this one for good measure. We'll solo this instrument. we're gonna save the MIDI data from that. So what we do is for this top channel, we'll press and hold, we will hit MIDI export, and we'll call this 80s times. And then we'll go to the second one, we'll unmute it just to be safe. I don't think the mute does anything to it, but we will MIDI export and we'll call this 80s digital D1. Boom, that was easy. Now we're gonna go back into the Files app and get those files into the Cubasis folder system. So here we go, back up here. All right, Beatmaker 3 here. We'll go down to MIDI Exports. There we go, I've got 80s Tines and 80s Digital D1. Now we will go to the Cubasis 3 folder. We'll hit MIDI, My MIDI Files. We'll go back over here, select, hit the two files we want, More, Copy and paste. There we go. Now let's open up Cubasis and see if we can get those plugged in. Here's Cubasis. We'll go ahead and start another project. All right, so I know that my first instrument was Tines, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a MIDI instrument. I'm gonna hit the instrument button here, go back, audio units, we will load up Tines. This is important to note. You need to know the parameters for each plugin. Bringing over your MIDI data does not bring over your parameters for your MIDI instrument. So I know what I have my parameters set to, so I'm gonna go ahead and set those. Pretty easy. Just drag a couple faders up. That's what we had before. Now, I'll go into the media folder, go to MIDI, my MIDI files, double tap, and we have 80s tines, drag and drop. There's our chords. So let's go ahead and play that. There it is. Let's add in the second instrument. So new channel, MIDI, hit the instrument button, go back, 
audio unit, and it was Digital D1. For those that don't know, D1, so many good sounds. I will warn you though, D1 is the one plugin that many DAWs get overwhelmed with on iPad OS. So you might run into some crashing with the plugin. You've been warned. 80s Digital D1, drag and drop, and here we go. We'll hear what that sounds like. I'll solo it. There you go. We've officially moved over audio files and MIDI files from Beatmaker 3 to another DAW. And to be honest, it's really a simple process. One of the things I love about Beatmaker 3 is just this functionality right here. It's one of the things that I feel like Cubasis doesn't do that great. If you're looking for more dope tutorials on Beatmaker 3, check out this playlist right here. And again, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next tutorial. But anyway, that's been it, creatives. Go make something dope, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.